Hello Flutter experts. Welcome to the exciting episode of Flutter package of the day. I am Norman Sa and today we have a fantastic package to share with you. If you are looking to add or cover functionality to your Flutter app, you are in the right place. We are talking about the pop hover package. The pop hover package is a powerful tool that allows you to easily create uh, pop hover style uh, widgets in your Flutter applications. Whether you need to display additional information, options, or actions uh, in a neat and intuitive way, the popper package has got you covered. Let's start by showing showing you how to install the popper package uh, in your Flutter project. So, first go to pubs.dev and search for uh, popper uh, package and just uh, go to the installing tab and copy the uh, dependency line and just uh, paste it in your pubspec.yaml file under the dependencies. So here I have already pasted it, just paste it and do save it. If error uh, exit code 0 comes, it means that your uh, package has been successfully installed. So now that we have the package installed, let's see how easy it is to use in your Flutter code. So, uh, let's just uh, first create a button. Uh, so, we, when we click on that, uh, some action or some pop-up should uh, occur. So, I will be creating uh, a new Dart file which will be button.dart and here I will be creating uh, is that list widget uh, with the name of my button. So here I will be returning a uh, uh, gesture detector widget, gest gesture detector widget, uh, which will give us the functionality of uh, tapping. So let's just return the gesture detector here, gesture detector, and we will be using the horn tap functionality. So here we will just uh, leave it empty for now. So I will be returning um, a child here and uh, simply a icon to be clicked on our screen. So I will be creating a icon, icons dot, uh, which will be more the vertically yeah I will be just saving this yeah now I will be just calling my that button uh, to my body of the uh, scaffold body and how you want that the button uh, should be shown uh, at the center of the screen so i will be using my center widget uh, and i will be using the property child and i will just call my button here uh, and it will be shown on our screen here so here you go uh, now 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 i will be just going back to uh, my button class and here button class I will be just calling my uh, poor package which I have uh, installed just right now so uh, here you go I will be using uh, the hero functions or so the hero and I will be just using the show for poor so the show for poor needs a context and a body builder so 
uh, in the bodybuilder I will be just crossing the context and I will be creating uh, the menu items in a uh, separate class to make the code clean so in that way um, I will be creating my menu item in a different a separate class so menu items dot dot here and in the menu items I will be just creating uh, another stateless widget so which will be menu items and I here I will be simply returning a column uh, widget which takes the children and here um, the first menu suppose the first uh, menu for the first uh, will be new will be for options options and the second and the second options second menu options and the uh, third menu options ha. And here I will be simply simply calling the container widget. When I click this button, a pop up uh, will be shown. And on the pop up uh, box, there will be three containers. So I will be just creating them here. So I will be just giving a height. Okay color colors dot the purple colors dot the purple dot dot shade hundred and here I will be just copying this and I'll be pasting it here and just change the shade from here and I'll be just again copying and pasting it here and again I will be just um, changing the shades here and I will be just calling my uh, menu items menu items class which I have uh, just created so now 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 let's just click it so see what will happen so we can also uh, give a uh, uh, word to our pop-up menu and uh, I to, to our pop-up menu which will be just we ought to restart it and see See how simply how simply a uh, pop up uh, is coming when I'm clicking the button. So we can also change the direction of our pop up. Um, so simply we will be calling the direction and here the direction to pop up or direction dot top. So when I click. Uh, this button the pop-up will be, uh, be come uh, be appear uh, from top of the button so pop-up which is um, simply takes two important properties so one is the uh, child so where we can something like icon or text or any other widget in the child part and it also takes a body build so these two are very important in pop over uh, package the child property is where you define the widget that will trigger the popover and the body property 
uh, in the bodybuilder property is where you define the content of the popcorn itself. So, uh, the popcorn package also allows you to customize the appearance and behavior of your uh, your popcorns. You can modify things like the hair direction, hair color, background color, and more to match the style your style of your application. To help you visualize how the poor package works, let's take a look at a quick demo. So here I have just created, uh, just see how it, how the poor package is looking. So and that is it. The poor package uh, is a fantastic addition to your plotter toolkit if you need to implement popcorn style UI elements in your application. It's easy to use, highly customizable and can enhance the user experience of your plotter applications. Remember, you can find the link to the package in the description below along with other useful resources. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with the latest Flutter packages and tutorials. If you have any questions or want to suggest a Flutter package for our next episode, uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, thanks for joining us today and happy coding with Flutter.